Okay, boys and girls. Tonight's homework, we are working on a different type of division. We've been practicing long division, but uh, we're going to go ahead and practice partial quotients today. Partial quotients. Now, a partial quotient, we're going to have the same types of problems. For example, if we have the problem 86 divided by 5, okay, what we're doing is we're looking to see if we can make how many groups of 5 we can make within the number 86. So to do this, we need to, all you really need to know is how to multiply by 10, multiply by 5, multiply by 2, or multiply by 1. Okay? So to begin with, we have 86, and we need to see how many groups of 5 we can make in the number 86. So the first thing that I taught you guys in class today was since we all know how to multiply by 10, we want to see if we can make 10 groups of 5. So to do that, I'm just going to write a 10 over here. And I know that 5 times 10 is 50. So if 5 times 10 is 50, I can definitely make 10 groups of 5 within the number 86. Okay. Now, if this bottom number was greater than my divisor, I'm sorry, my dividend, then 10 would not work. But in this particular example, it does. So I can go ahead and subtract that now and say 6 minus 0 is 6 and 8 minus 5 is 3. And now I have 36. So I want to look again. Can I make another group of 10 in the number 36 if I'm making groups of 5? Can I make 10 groups of 5 in the number 36? And the answer is no. Because if I put another group of 10 here, 10 times 5 would be 50. And that is way too big. If your bottom number is greater than the number you're subtracting from, you cannot do that. So let me just delete that and that. We know we can't do any more groups of 10. So now let's see, can we make a group of 5 out of 36? Well, I think I can because I know that 5 times 5 equals 25. So yes, I can make a group of 5 because my bottom number is smaller than my top number. I can go ahead and subtract 25 from 36. So let's do that real quick. 6, times five, six minus 5 is 1, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So, so far I've made one group of 10 and run one group of 5, and I still have 11 left over. So I can still make more groups of 5. I can still make more groups of 5. How many more? Well, can I make five more groups of 5? No, I can't. Because if I had made five more groups of 5, that would be 5 times 5 is 25. And again, we can't have the bottom number be greater than the top number. So, oh no, hold on. Okay, so let's, uh, let me backspace that one. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so I can't do five. I can do no more groups of five. But can I make a, two groups of five? Well, let's see, I think I can. I know my twos. I know 2 times 5 equals 10. So yeah, I could make two more groups of 5 out of the number 11 because that number is smaller than the top number. So 11 minus 10 equals 1. And I cannot, I cannot make any more groups of 5. If I've only got one left, I cannot make any more groups of 5. So I have one remainder here. I know that I have a remainder. But in order to figure out how many groups of 5 I made, I just add these numbers up. 10 plus 5 is 15, plus 7 more, or plus 2 more is 17. So this problem is 17 with a remainder of 1. Okay, so let me do one more problem for you, uh, just in case that one was confusing. Uh, hopefully this is an easier method for you. So let's do this again. Again, we're going to be looking at the, pro the multiplication problems that are the easiest for us. Fives, we're, first we're going to look to see if we can make groups of 10. Then we're going to look and see if we can make groups of Five. Then if you can't make groups of 5, you look to see if you can make groups of 2. And if you can't do that, you can make groups of 1. So the next problem I'm going to do here is 93 divided by 7. All right. So first of all, I'm going to draw my line here. And I'm going to look to see if how many groups of 10 I can make. All right. So can I make one group of 10? Yes, I can, because 7 times 10 equals 70. All right, and then I subtract that, and 9 minus 7 is 2. All right, so I have one group of 10 so far. 
I know I know that I can't make another group of 10 because 10 times 7 is 70, and that would make this bottom number too big. So I'm going to move on to 5s. Can I make a group of 5? Well, let's see. 5 times 7, I know how to times, multiply my 5s. 7 times 5 is 35. And again, that would be too big here on the bottom number. We can't have a 35 here. <laughs> so it's not going to be 5. So let's move on to our 2s. Can we make 2 groups of 7? Let's see here. 7 times 2 equals 14, and that works because 14 is smaller than 23. So I could add two more groups of 7, and now I can subtract. 23 minus 14 I know is 9. Okay. Now, can I make any more groups of 7, any more groups of 7, if I have 9 still? <coughs> and the answer is yes. I can still make one more group of 7. So if I add one more group of 7, 7 times 1 equals 7. I subtract that, 9 minus 7 is 2, and so this is my remainder. I have a remainder of 2, but my groups, I have 10 plus 2 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. So I have 13 groups of 7 with the remainder of 2. Now, for homework tonight, what I would like you to do, actually, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to check those two. So I'm going to go ahead and make an array here, <coughs> and I know that um, I know my tens, I know my twos, and I know my ones. So I'm going to make an array here. I'm going to multiply all those by 7. I know that 7 times 10 is 70. That's what I just put here. I know that 7 times 2 is 14. I know that because I already did it over here. And I know that 7 times 1 is 7. So if I add all those up, 7 plus 70 plus 14, I know that's 84, plus I'm going to add that 7 over there. 84 plus 7 equals 93, which is what we started with. So we know we got that problem right. Okay, so for your homework tonight, what I want you to do, I want you to use the same strategy. I want you to try this problem, 47 divided by 4. I want you to try this problem, 68 divided by 7. And the last problem, this one's kind of the double bonus. I want you to try this one, 200 41 divided by 8. Those are your three problems. That's all you have for homework tonight. Good luck, and I will see you tomorrow.